us now from the mayor of Dallas, Mike Rawlings. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us this morning. I know your entire city is grieving. We are grieving with you uh, this morning. We also know that your city is still on edge. The entire city now still on alert. Uh, it is. Uh, we've uh, shut down a part of downtown. It's still an active crime scene. We're looking at uh, all uh, aspects of that uh, in those buildings. Uh, but uh, we think it's under control, but uh, we haven't uh, said it's, uh, it's over at this so point. So you think it's under control, and can you confirm that no explosives have been found? Uh, we have swept it, and no explosives have been uh, found that was threatened uh, by uh, one of the shooters. And fortunately, um, uh, he was bluffing. Uh, we didn't have that. Uh, our explosives took him down. Uh, he was cornered in a, in a garage and wouldn't give up, and we sent in explosives for that. So that shooter is down, is dead. What more can you tell us about the three suspects in custody? Well, I can tell you that they're being pretty tight-lipped at this point, um, and uh, we are uh, looking at them as, uh, as uh, suspects uh, that, uh, uh, and, and really just objects that uh, we're talking to. Uh, we don't know anything more at this point, uh, and we're going to do a thorough investigation to uh, make sure we get to the bottom of it. So you say they're being pretty tight-lipped right now. No indication about their motivations? Uh, not at this point. Uh, we're, it's actively being worked, and uh, hopefully uh, every hour we'll gain information and we'll be uh, talking about it at our press conference. Are, are you convinced that the three people in custody were act actually involved in the shooting, and do you think there were others you don't have in custody? Yeah, I'm not convinced of anything yet. Uh, we have uh, put together a drag uh, a net, if you will, got those individuals, and now we're uh, uh, starting to convince ourselves of where the truth lies. Uh, so many, many more questions to be answered there about the suspects. How about the victims uh, in the hospital? Of course, we are all praying for the families of those who were killed in the line of duty. How about the injured? Anything more on their condition? You know, I was at hospitals last night talking to families, uh, talking to those that were injured talking to the police officers that were around. We had two civilians uh, that uh, uh, were hurt. Uh, uh, fortunately, none of those died. Uh, we have uh, three women that were uh, uh, impacted and, uh, and, and shot during this uh, uh, a terrible tragedy. Uh, uh, the, uh, all the, uh, the victims that were deceased are men. Uh, so uh, both of our hospitals did a great job. Uh, not only with the, the, the patients and with the victims, but also with uh, helping the families out. So when you're saying the female victims, were those, were those police officers or those were civilian bystanders? Excuse me? I'm sorry, were you saying the female victims were those police officers or civilian bystanders, the injured? We had two uh, female uh, officers and one female bystander. And we know you have a, a difficult times ahead there in the city of Dallas. What more do you want the country to know about your city? You know, I think we had a morality play take place last night, and we understand that uh, police officers uh, putting their lives on the line every day and every night is not a hyperbole, it's a real thing. And uh, last night, five of those officers lost their lives to protect citizens that were protesting uh, and, uh, and helping uh, uh, exercise their First Amendment rights. As the president said, they were just doing their jobs. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us this morning. Good work. Thank you.